for the last few years, I've been privileged to uh, be partnered with Spiker Spreaders, and I've been using their Ergo Pro 50 pound spreader to apply fertilizer around my yard. Well, early last year, I noticed that they began offering a smaller, more homeowner targeted model, the Pro Series P20 50 pound light duty broadcast spreader. That caught my attention. So last year I reached out to Spiker and asked if I could try it out. So for the last year, I've been using both of these spreaders in my yard and trying to see the difference, seeing if the price difference is reasonable, seeing if it's a good value for homeowners to get the smaller P20 model, and compare it against the commercial grade Ergo Pro 50 pound model. So I wanna go over those comparisons and show you what's similar about these spreaders, what's different about these spreaders. I've had a lot of people reach out to me wondering the answers to those questions, particularly with the P20 model. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you if those are some of the answers you're looking for or if you're just looking for a spreader to upgrade to that's gonna last a really, really long time. Here we go. So before I get too much into this, I just wanna say that both of these spreaders are quality products. Spiker makes a quality product. They're well built, they're worth the investment. And after having several different brands of spreaders in the garage over the last few years, these have been the best that I've ever used. Now to get started, I'll talk about what's similar between these other than the Spiker sticker on front of the spreaders here. They both have powder coated steel frames. They both have pneumatic tires and they both have 50 pound um, material capacities. Now there is a slight difference in that capacity. The Ergo Pro, though advertised to be a 50 pound spreader, can hold well over 50 pounds. It has a bigger hopper and it has held well over 50 pounds for me. So keep that in mind. Um, the P20 is definitely more cost effective, although like everything else in the world right now, the price of not just this spreader, but both of these spreaders and many other products on the market from any other brand in the world, the price has gone up since I've started using these, even that one just a year ago. Now, no matter what spreader you decide to buy, whether it's a spiker spreader or any other spreader on the market, there's one feature that I would definitely recommend you look for in a spreader, and that's pneumatic tires. Both of these products have pneumatic tires, but I want you to notice the difference in the size of the tires between the two models here. The Ergo Pro has significantly larger pneumatic tires than the P20. Now, I've noticed that even though they both have pneumatic tires, they do work really well on all um, grasses. Uh, I've particularly found that the larger the tires are, the better it is and the easier it is to maneuver the spreader on taller grasses. I like to use the Ergo Pro in my backyard, not just because my backyard's a bigger area, but because the taller grass in my backyard, it's easier to maneuver this thing around back here. And I use the P20 in my front yard on my shortcut turf, and it does really, really well there. Both of them do really well on shortcut turf. Obviously, the shorter the grass, there's less to battle, but I found that the taller tires on the Ergo Pro have done better in my taller cut backyard. So another key difference here is the handle design. And you'll notice on the P20, it's more of a uh, simple uh, straight shaft design on the handle. And the Ergo Pro has a more um, compound uh, design. Uh, it's a lot more uh, solidly built and structured. There's a lot more connection points and it's definitely a sturdier um, more solid feeling handle and they both can be adjusted to an extent the p20 has two heights that you can choose from and the ergo pro has a uh, nut here that can be loosened train the p20 has uh, adjustment points on both sides where you can actually move the handle up and down um, pretty much wherever you want uh, even if you're over six feet tall this will still fit you. 
and it makes it really nice and a lot more comfortable and more ergonomically friendly to push around. Another big difference is the lever to open and close the gate in the hopper to let your material out. And on the Ergo Pro, this is a spring-loaded lever. It has a metal piece right here to catch and hold the lever in the off position, and then you have to bring it out and down over the bar to catch it on the other side to hold it open. And when you pull it back to turn it off, you can feel the tension on that spring while it's being engaged. So that takes some getting used to, I'll tell you from experience. It took me a little while to get used to that. Um, every manufacturer is a little bit different. Um, but this one, you definitely know when it's on and when it's off, not just by looking at the sticker. Um, you can feel it on this one. The P20 is pretty similar, except it's not spring-loaded. It's still forward and backwards. It's backwards to open the gate, and then you just push it forward to close the gate. It's pretty simple, um, and it does take some getting used to. Um, I found that mine is a little loose, and I probably need to look into um, tightening it down a little bit more because at the end of my um, runs when I'm out of material and I've got a little bit left and I'm kind of bouncing the spreader around to get the last bit out, I found that when I'm bouncing the spreader around, those bounces cause the hopper to close and I'm bouncing the spreader around trying to get material out and nothing's coming out because I didn't realize it had closed. So I need to put a little bit more um, resistance on this here um, but other than that I think this is a pretty simple and easy way to open and close the spreader and move your material. Now as for the handle itself um, both very similar handles in style the P20 is a more of a straight handle and the Ergo Pro has more of a flare to it. One of Spiker's um, key features is what's called AccuWay, and it's a piece that goes inside um, between the hopper and the impeller, and it allows you to adjust this piece forward and backwards to control the spread pattern and to really dial in the spread pattern. So the idea being, if your spread pattern is spreading too far off to the right or too far off to the left and you want to get it more centered, you can adjust this little piece here on the front of the spreader, this is the AccuWay dial, to move that piece and really refine and dial in that spread pattern. That comes standard on the Ergo Pro and it's available for separate purchase for the P20. So I've mentioned before that both models of this, these spreaders here are made of the same material as far as the frame goes. One small feature to point out though is the Ergo Pro has room to grip the frame on the front of this as a handle here. If you need to lift this up and move it around or get it into a truck or a trailer, there's a nice handle that's conveniently available here. The P20 doesn't have that. It's just right up against the hopper bucket. Though it is smaller, it is easier to lift but this is just kind of a convenience thing worth pointing out. One other minor detail to point out is on the gearboxes on these machines in between the wheels here. The gearboxes are both enclosed gearboxes and they have metal gears. And the Ergo Pro has a lifetime warranty on its gearbox. And it also has a grease jerk on the front of it, whereas the P20 doesn't. Now last but certainly not least when it comes to spiker spreaders is the unique dial that they offer. And I believe this is the same dial for all of their walk-behind spreaders, at least. And the thing I like about it the most is the number on the dial that you need to use is pretty close to whatever application rate you're applying uh, fertilizer or other products. So that's typically a good starting point. Now, for me personally, I found that the application rate plus a little more than one is good for me. So if I'm applying a product at three pounds per thousand, I'm gonna set this to a little over four. And that's been really comfortable for me as far as getting the material out in a timely manner. Now one thing that you'll need to realize with these is it's all a single mold. And so the numbers on the dial are the same color as the dial. So they're a little bit tricky to see, but you do get used to it and it's not that big of a deal. So for all the DIYers who are just tired of dealing with the cheap all plastic spreaders you get from the local hardware store, if you want something that's a lot more robust, more um, quality, and that has the potential to last a lifetime, I really think 
spiker spreaders are a great option, especially the P20 for homeowners. Um, they do a really good job. I'm really, really happy with them. And I really look forward to using them when it's time to spread fertilizer across the yard. Uh, if you're not someone who needs a walk behind broadcast spreader, you need something a little smaller, Spiker's got you there too. This is their handheld spreader. And I like this particularly for winter time. I use this primarily to um, spread ice melt. I also used it to seed my putting green and I've used it uh, on some project lawns in the past as well. The cool thing about this is it has the same dial on their walk behind spreaders, the same concept, and an easy trigger to open and close uh, the, the gate on the hopper, and then an easy to use um, handle to spread your material. Another cool part of the design on this is it's got a round kind of cup shaped um, hopper which can be used to scoop material out of a bag or out of a bucket to load up your hopper a little easier. So that is my comparison of those two models of Spiker spreaders. Um, I'm grateful to um, have Spiker be a partner of the channel and for sending these spreaders to me. If you have any questions about any of these spreaders, um, any features that I may, may not have covered in as much detail as you would have liked, let me know down in the comments below and we can talk more about them. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. We'll have a lot more content on different products and um, things that I use around the yard this year, different things I'm trying, and I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.